spheres of the brain are separated by severing the corpus callosum, the transfer of information between the two hemispheres stops, and the coexistence of two functionally different brains can be demonstrated. Sperry started this investigation with cats and monkeys, but later extended it to epileptic patients whose hemispheres had been surgically separated in order to gain some control over epileptic seizures. He first experimented on animals to observe the hemisphere functions. Soon, epilepsy treatments were available. The process involved splitting the corpus callosum. When Sperry heard this, he jumped at the opportunity to experiment. If I can study the effect of splitting the brain in animals, why not study the effect on humans? I can then assess the independent functions of the hemispheres of the brain. To fully understand Sperry's experiment, you must first know the functions of the hemispheres. The left hemisphere controls logical thinking, good for reading, writing, and problem solving. The right hemisphere controls creativity, which allows it to easily identify pictures. You must also know that the hemispheres correspond to the opposite sides of the body. Left hemisphere goes to the right, and the right hemisphere goes to the left. Got all that? Great, let's move on with Sperry's experiment. Roger Sperry's experiment involved a screen with a dot in the middle. He flashed pictures or words on either the right or left side of the dot. If a word is flashed to the right side, the left hemisphere senses it, and the patient with split brain is able to identify it. The same applies to a picture that is flashed to the right side of the dot. It goes to the left hemisphere and the patient is easily able to name it. When a word or picture is flashed to the left side though, the patient with split brain is unable to read it because the creative right hemisphere is unable to read it or say it out loud. The patient can draw this picture though with their left hand and then name the object. Even though the patient can't name it, their left hand is able to draw out the picture of the stimulus. For example, if you were a patient with split brain and these images were flashed to you, you would immediately be able to name the wheel. You wouldn't be able to identify the car until you drew it out with your left hand. After seeing your drawing, you would recognize the picture. This experiment proved to Roger Sperry that the hemispheres work individually and the corpus callosum connects the activity so that they can work as one cohesive device. When the corpus callosum is split though, the hemispheres constantly battle one another when they see a stimulus. It is extremely difficult to complete everyday tasks for split brain patients because their hemispheres are constantly switching back and forth from one to the other logical perspective to create a one instead of working together. What did you see? Oh, so just close your eyes and draw with your left hand. Just let it go. Nice, what's that? Saw? Yeah. What'd you see? Hammer. What'd you draw that for? I don't know. 